I'm trying to leave? No, no. It's all part of the process. If you want to spin around and head back in, that should be that. Hey there. What the hell? <laughs> that is a clip okay. from Severance. It was nominated for Best Ensemble in a Drama Series at the 2023 SAG Awards. Joining me today, Tramel Tillman. Hi, good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good morning. Good morning. So you're on this really successful show, but I know you were originally studying to become a surgeon. What was the moment you kind of decided, <laughs> no, I need to go all in. I need to become an actor. Well, I was at Xavier University in New Orleans, Louisiana, and studying biology pre-med to become an orthopedic surgeon. And I was in chem lab class. And chem lab is about three hours long. And I was bored to tears. <laughs> and I was sitting around all these students, uh, my classmates who love this stuff. They love the nomenclature, balancing equations, and so forth and so on. And while I was doing well in class, was doing really great um, grade-wise, I, 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 I just, the, the most exciting part of Chem Lab was watching the reactions change colors from clear to blue to purple to pink and back to clear. And I was like, well, this is fun. This is exciting. And little did I realize that, you know, it's, the, it's theatrics. And that was what was engaging for me. So I realized that in that moment, you know, I need to do what makes me happy if I have the opportunity. And this just wasn't it. Um, and it's funny, Carly, because there are so many of my colleagues from Xavier University who are now doctors, and I was doing better in their classes. <laughs> I was doing better in their classes, and now they're doctors, you know, and I'm the actor, you know. Uh, so it's a wild ride. You never know. I think you made the right choice. I think you made the right choice. And props to you. I couldn't even make it. I could Thank barely you. make it through high school chemistry. I also love hearing about people's survival <laughs> jobs on the way to the top. Like, I've done all kinds of stuff earlier in my career. I worked at a spa, I delivered balloons. What kind of survival jobs did you do oh, wow. while trying to make it? And what did you kind of learn through that time? Um, there was a time I was a cater waiter. Uh, there was a time I worked for a nonprofit organization in the accounting and controls division of the headquarters of that organization. I was a development coordinator in charge of asking people for money. <laughs> um, I was also an abstinence educator at one time and, and worked a lot of nonprofit organization jobs in between. And for me, it was all about humanity and understanding the human condition. and. That also was fuel for me in crafting characters. One thing that is important to me is breathing life in the humanity of any character that I play and always constantly searching for that. I love that. It seems like you took so much away from that. Wait, abstinence educator? I didn't know that was a job. <laughs> yes. yes, I was. That, was. that was a job. And I was in Mississippi when I did that. I was an absence educator for middle school and high school students in Mississippi, where there was a high level of STD and pregnancy rates at that time. And I was horrible at it, Carly. <laughs> I was horrible as an absence <laughs> educator. Well, it all pointed to... the kids love me. It they all pointed me. you to where you're meant to be. <laughs> Um, we yes. can't wait for the next season yes. of Severance. Termel Tillman, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Carly.